Hello. Welcome. My name is Sarah Tess. I'm going to do a collective reading today for Scorpio. Happy weekend. Let's just dig in. I was hearing in my head, hot and dangerous. If you're one of us, then roll with us because whatever. I don't know the words, but that's the song, one of the songs. And I was hearing hot little number. So it's like you're trying to dress up for either going out with girlfriends or going out to a bar or going on a date, not sure. Could be different for lots of different people. Obviously this is a collective reading. Um, so it may or may not be your story. Pick and choose what works for you. And then we have wearing all black, number 44. Um, leather or leggings, something that you have to like jump into to like wear, to be able to fit in. Like you're even a pair of jeans, like you are trying to squeeze your whole body into something that's extra tight and you're potentially going to feel uncomfortable during your date because you're not dressed properly to feel comfy, okay? So as I was sitting down here, 111, I was thinking about how lots of people go on dates and it's like their first date or their second date or whatever and they still don't act like officially like themselves. And so they dress apart, they act apart, they look a particular way because they think someone's going to like them more that way. But in actuality, like at night when you're like putting your hair up and putting your glasses on and putting your retainers on and whatever, like at the end of the day, do you wanna marry someone who doesn't like you for you? Like as a whole, like, are you going to have to hide the retainer, the glasses, the whatever your whole life once you are dating said person? Or are you going to just be like up front and be like, yeah, this is me. Um, I like to wear loungy clothes. I don't always dress up with makeup and all done up. But I do enjoy getting dressed up. But I'm just going to clarify that that is not really me. And it is up to you as the individual who's going on said date, said whatever outing to speak up for yourself and say like, hey, um, this is me. I just want you to know from the get-go that I'm not gonna hide anything. Because a lot of people hide stuff. A lot of people do that whole honeymoon phase and then once it's done, all these things come out and you are trying to be straight up with people. So, that's the energy we have today. However, you are hot and dangerous and spicy and fun. No matter what you're wearing, no matter like if you are in some spicy little outfit or if you're in your leggings, you are just as hot as can be, okay? So don't feel like you're less than because you're dressing down. And don't feel like you're less than because you're dressing up either. Just listen to your gut, listen to what you wanna wear and trust that whatever you're wearing is correct for you as long as you are doing it for you and not for someone else three two one page of wands okay you're fun you're doing something new you're putting yourself out there you're dancing you're <laughs> i wanted to say throwing stones but like not you're not throwing stones you're just like yeah, i'm getting like renaissance fair where like people are swallowing like the knives down their throats and like doing all these weird crazy tricks and like juggling and doing these fun things and you're like what the heck how is this person doing this thing and they're different and it's like someone is into hip-hop and they're dancing in the street and like they're doing um like street art and they're doing <sighs> flash mobs and they're doing all these things that are like outlandish and weird and funky and fun and different and that is exactly who you're supposed to show off whenever you go and meet your new person, whoever you're going out with today, tonight, tomorrow, whatever, whoever you're meeting next in this future, you need to be exactly like yourself, own who you are, dress your own way, and don't feel like you have to be a particular way for anybody else. And if they don't like you for you, then good on you, move on to someone new and find someone that respects you for being your most authentic self, okay? We have the magician. Yeah, you definitely, 444, are someone that can kind of switch up how you act, okay? You're able to be around certain people and dress a certain way and act a certain way and you're someone who is a little bit easy to 
I want to say manipulate, but not in a bad way. I think you're someone that's able to manipulate your own energy and be able to be friends with lots of different people and hang out with lots of different people um, because you're easygoing and you're an empath and you pick up on other people's energy. And so you're able to kind of like switch up on a dime. But be cautious with that. If you're going out with people that you don't know or people that have a different energy than you, be careful to not take other people's energy on because that may not serve you. <laughs> that may actually not be good for you at all. So make sure that the people are you, that you are around, you're around higher vibration people or people are at similar level as you in terms of your energy or make sure to block off energy and try not to attach to anyone's energy that doesn't belong to you, okay? So be careful, have a good time, and just trust your own judgment, okay? We have Queen of Cups. Yeah, trust your own judgment. Trust in your inner guides to guide you, to show you the truth. Um, trust in your ability to see things in the dark, but in the light. Trust your ability to see the unknown. Trust your ability to see what's underneath the surface. Trust in your ability to see past a book cover, a out external persona trust your ability to see someone's true nature and if you have a hard time reading them then i think it's up to you to really decide why someone is putting off a front and if it feels weird if you have a hard time determining whether or not they have good intentions or bad then just stay cautious be aware um and at the end of the day, do what is best for you. You see clearly and you can trust yourself. Don't ever feel like you have to hang out with certain people if it doesn't fit your vibe, okay? Page of Pentacles, 714, 717. So I think you're on your own little journey right now and you've been in a very meditative state. You've been planning things, you've been dreaming about things, you've been wanting to live your life in a particular way. And I think that you have definitely isolated yourself for a good reason. You've been in a hermit energy so that you could find out who you are as an, in, as an individual more, so that you could tap into your own energy and find out your own self-worth. And because you've done all the work, you're being cautious as to who you meet and as to who you put your energy out into right so be cautious you know you have fun enjoy who you're around but if you can feel your energy getting drained or you feel like someone is pulling on your energy a little bit and it feels kind of funky then come back into a central space and acknowledge what's happening and tap into your own intuition and allow that to guide you okay trust 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 Because you don't want someone's energy to affect you in a way that it takes you from your peace, takes you away from your peace, okay? Six of Cups. I think that you have grown really positive connections and attachments with certain people in your life. And so this is just a reminder that the people that are in your life that have stuck it out with you, that have been around you since day one, who are there for you still in this day, will always be your tribe, will always be there for you in spirit or in person or by the phone. You can always call on your people. So if you have someone that you need to call to, you know, have a conversation with and be like, I miss you, I need you, like, I would love support, then call them. They will be there for you. If you get too rowdy and you need someone to drive you home call them up be safe be cautious be aware of your surroundings and be smart you know call up your person they will be there for you okay and that also goes for like if you go on a date and like your date is just weird you're like oh god i gotta get out of here you know, they always say, like, have a backup phone call, like, ready, you know, like, have a plan after it, have a have a timeline that 
just in case something weird happens, you can go on that other thing or go to see a friend or go do a thing, you know, have a <laughs> phone emergency that's like, hey, you know, do you need me? Do you not need me? Like, do you want to get out of this or do you want to stay? Like, you do you. So, I think you're someone that is cautious in who you spend your time with and you are going to be like that for a while because you now have self-respect <laughs> okay um we have two of wands it looks like you are definitely invested in your own energy it looks like you are inspired by the world you're inspired by travel you are inspired by adventure and experiences and you do not get swayed very easily by love or lust All right, let's get it. any last cards for Scorpio. Okay, that's way too many. One card, please, for Scorpio. Ooh, okay, the devil. Ooh. I think you are your own devil. <laughs> I think that you have your own passions, you have your own lusty desires and things, but you're the one that chooses to go towards them because you create those circumstances. And I don't think it's a bad thing. I think that energy, the devilish energy, is more like sparks of passion, sparks of desire, sparks of potential greatness potential future sparks of enjoying life of peace of love for experiencing life love for higher vibrational energy that is just you're being called in particular directions right now and you don't want to get swayed by anything other than what you really want to be doing what you want to be around I think you're just really focused on careers and your own creative endeavors and self-expression and you're really on a solo journey right now it seems and although you do get you know little like little snippets of mm, that looks interesting like I would love to eat that dessert you know like even though you get little moments like that you don't let it affect you in a way where your energy is stolen from you right like your energy is strong and you are grounded and you're able to handle this life because you are protected okay all right we have six of pentacles so i think you are starting to really focus on your money you're building abundance in relationships in money in your manifestations in your desires and that is really your focus right now but i think that you do also want love I, it seems like you're balanced out in your chakras and that's been your main priority right now and then we have ten of cups which shows a connection of rainbow of either sisterhood or love um this can be you know two parties of whatever gender you'd like it to be but it definitely gives off feminine soul sister potentially partnership in love in business in whatever um where you guys are cultivating something together and creating some beautiful little being of something that you're about to nurture whether it is a child whether it is a desire whether it is a dream whether it is a goal whether it is a project i don't know but it looks to me like things are balancing out it's like music is playing everything is just going so smoothly and it feels like a song is being played 1414 because like it everything all the notes just kind of align everything works correctly right now and it all just sounds right okay and then we have king of cups and i think that this is your energy that you are in you're someone who is a go-getter but you're also able to tap into the energy of humbling your ego and sitting relaxing 14 44 taking in the goodness of this life and you're able to tap into peace and tranquility and adventure and 
you're okay with sitting around and taking time to just relax, chill, and own your own power because you know at the end of the day that you are grounded and that you are supporting yourself and that you can handle anything in this life because you're owning this like king energy and it definitely just gives me like you know at the end of the day that you are not going to sink <laughs> if you take a few moments for yourself if you take a break you're not going to sink in whatever your desires are or whatever you're not going to like lose track of what you've been building in terms of business or in connections or in love you're not going to lose that by taking some time for yourself um by taking the time for yourself and really just sitting in your own energy, you're actually going to recharge your energy and be able to be a brighter human being. Okay, let's tap into some 1551 balance. We're going to tap into some affirmations, 1555. What does Scorpio need to hear? You might be seeing 888 or 8 might be a number for you right now. Um, I know that sitting in the silence is the surest way to hear my intuition speak. I am listening. Yeah. It's time to listen. 1616. 16, 16 makes me think of a bus, like a bus number. So maybe you're just open to travel. You're open to taking different modes of transportation. You're open to someone driving you. You're not scared of being around other people you you can release the reins it seems in control i know that i do not need to avoid making others uncomfortable by playing small i am taking up space hmm it makes me think that like you know, you're going to be on a, a bus, right, with a bunch of people, and you walk on, and you, all the heads still turn, because everyone notices your energy, 1717. There's something about you, you know? There's just some energy that you radiate that draws everybody in, and they want to know you. I know that money flows to me freely when I pursue my passions. I am abundant. Okay, let's get one more affirmation. I know that I can manifest all that my heart desires. I am ready to receive. Yeah, you're ready to receive your blessings. You're ready to receive goodness. You're ready to receive new connections because you are drawing in that yummy energy. Okay, what else does Scorpio need to hear? Kundalini rising, number 22, ignite your passion for life. I think that your soul is on fire. I feel like there is a flame underneath your butt. I feel like something is pushing you forward. And I don't know if it's external stuff or internal stuff, 1818, but it seems like it's this desire for creating your own legacy. 18, ground your light, let your soul shine. Okay, one last card. Expansion. Educate your mind and senses. Uh, well, that picture instantly makes me think of the female organs, um, your sensual energy, your passion, your um, connection to feminine, to sensitivity, to strength, to power. Your womb as a female is your internal power source, right? And it can birth a baby. <laughs> it can birth a new. So if you don't connect to your sensual side, to your self-care, self-love side, then you're not able to tap into your fullest potential and your fullest expansion of growth of possibilities. So... I think that this is just an encouragement to tap into your sacral chakra, no matter what your gender is, and tap into both your feminine and your masculine energy. Okay. All right. 
right, we have Ten of Cups. Yeah, I think you're creating connections and sisterhood and all your cups are feeling filled and you're feeling really happy and you feel like you have the ability to go on vacation and enjoy your life and still have work and balancing out everything that you're doing in this life and you feel really confident in what you're doing. Because you have let go of the things that do not serve you. You have let go of all that baggage. You have cut connections. You have cut cords. You have listened to your higher-ups, <laughs> your your guides. And at this time, it looks like you're also tapping into Eight of Pentacles. And because 2020, because you have tapped into your creative side, your feminine side, your sensual side, your sacral chakra, and your solar plexus, and your heart... Because of that, you are able to create the life that you have always desired. And you are trusting in the process and you're trusting in yourself and you're trusting in the state of flow and divine destiny and divine timing. Okay. What you don't see is that you are moving into six of wands energy where you are riding free willy and just like going into your own little sunset, into your own little adventure. You have people that are there around you, supporting you, cheering you on, and you're going towards your beautiful, like, queendom that you want. You're going towards your desires. You're going towards your dreams. You're going towards your wild and free self that is stable, that is connected to source, connected to herself, 2121, connected to highest intuition. And you just feel so confident, brave, content, happy, at peace with all the choices that you're making right now. Okay, let's do the Rose Oracle. What does Scorpio need to hear? I also was hearing in my head Sagittarius, so that might be either a person that you're dealing with or a sign that is connected to you, that is in your chart. Okay, you are the pioneer right now, number 13. It's making me think about, like, um, auspicious things where people are scared of certain numbers or scared of whatever because of whatever <laughs> like people put a lot of explanations on things and it's giving me this energy where like you're the one that stands out you're the one two 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 you're the one that does things differently you're the one that is like this is me I'm showing up as I am and I'm not scared to be this way and if you look at me in funny ways like I probably look at you in funny ways too because we don't necessarily see eye to eye but like peace and love and respect to all people and I'm doing no harm to you and hopefully you'll do no harm to me um and it just gives me this energy of like paving the way for yourself and also paving the way for others to find themselves and to also feel brave in choosing to follow their own path without concern of what other people will think and we have number 14 the loner and I don't think the loner is bad. I think that's just someone that you are. I think that that is an empress side of you, that you like your own space. You have learned to love yourself and to respect yourself. And because of that, you have created a bunch of boundaries in your life that serve you in a way that you do not feel like anybody is crossing your energy in any particular way, 23, 32 where you're balanced and you don't get drained by other people's energy like I was speaking about at the beginning of this reading. You have cultivated your own boundaries to keep yourself safe, loved, and protected and to be able to still live your life and then rejuvenate your energy to be able to move on to the next day and be at your highest vibration and be at your most passionate, creative, like, you know, excited energy for life. Okay. We have the warrior, we have the scientist, and we have the challenger. So I think that the warrior, the inner warrior in you is like, I'm going to do my life and I'm going to shoot for my goals and I'm going to pursue all these things and I'm not going to hold myself back because I know my worth and I know my strength. The scientist in you is like, I'm going to be really smart about it though. I'm not going to, you know, just fly off the handle and make choices i'm going to choose 
smartly. I'm going to make a plan and I'm going to pursue it and move all the way through it. 24, 44. And number four, the challenger. I think that you're going to always have people that are going to challenge you, that are going to have different opinions than you, that are always going to push you into a corner sometimes or like try to make you feel less than or try to talk to you about whatever you're doing or not talk to you about whatever you're doing because they're concerned about whatever it is that you are pursuing in your life. But the thing is that you are an opponent that people know that they're going to lose against because you're not someone to fight back i think that you're more someone that is quiet that takes a step back chooses to not have confrontation um because it actually ends up showing your strength in the long run if you're not fighting with someone who just wants the fight from you it's you know better you know better than to fight with someone who wants a fight because that's just stupid, right? The person that's wanting the fight, all they want is your attention and all they want is you to put your energy towards them, right? And you care more about yourself and your peace and you're not going to you're not going to go down into someone else's level um just to you know, humor them, right? You know better, you know your strengths and you know when it's important to fight and you know when it's important to just step back and let someone look stupid. Okay, the centennial. You are determined and certain about your life choices. And you're protected. You're shielded. You have your own energy shield around you so you know that nothing's going to affect you. And when you feel something weird affecting you, then you make that barrier a little bit stronger and you're good, you know? We have the captain taking command, teamwork. So you're the you're the commander of your own ship, right? You are guiding yourself, you are guiding other people, and you are encouraging other people to work similarly in your way. You're um you're creating a a little team that sees your light, likes your light, and wants to be similarly in that energy we have the hound loyalty chains and promises so you have someone that is this could go both ways you could be someone who feels very controlling or very protective of somebody um and vice versa someone could be feeling a similar way to you where they feel very controlling or not controlling, but they, they feel connected in a particular way that makes them feel like they need to be on your side, like a part of your team, a part of um, your spiritual team, your people that will be there to fight with you if anything happens. You, ha you have someone who is loyal to you like a dog who would fight you know skin and tail with you skin i don't even know the words whatever that old saying is but they will you know they will be there right beside you fighting for you supporting you connecting with you you know they really care and you can take this in either way it's either you or them or both of you equally but it's it's just reminding me of like someone who is single or who has a dog that is very much like their dog that will do anything for them um that's what i'm feeling yeah okay so you just you have someone that is really there on your team and that's what you want you want to have someone that's on your team okay let's do a love tarot real quick and then we'll be done so what's this energy between the two of you your team your partner your lover your friend your hound your loyal counterpart your whoever okay what's the what's the energy between you two okay we have 
creating long-term stability, family focus, and stable relationships. There's a lot of loyalty here. A long-term, serious, stable relationship is around you now. Be joyful. Don't block your ability to create stable and family-focused love. You're someone who's good at creating stable and loving relationships. Don't hold yourself back from relationships, from connections with people that you feel deeply connected to, even if you don't understand why you feel deeply connected. So that was Ten of Pentacles. Then we have Three of Staves. Love is around you. Sing and speak your truth. Be passionate. Love is around you already. Allow people to speak their truths to you. Give yourself a chance at passionate love only if it feels right. You're successful at anything you set your mind to, including love. One last card. The Chariot, number seven. You might be seeing 777 or 717 or January, February, March, April, May. June might be an important month of connecting with a counterpart, a partner, a lover, whoever. No matter where you live or where you travel, you'll find great love. I think that you found someone in the month of June that you are feeling very connected to. If you are at a crossroad with love, choose easily. Both ways work. So listen to your heart. Ultimately, listen to your heart, not your head, okay? Successfully, I cannot speak. Successful choices and travel with love has just happened. Successful choices and travel with love has just happened. So you've already made some sort of commitment, it seems, or connection. You've met up a few times, at least, and you've started to build a bond, it seems. You will be navigating all the hazards towards a wonderful love life. So whatever your concerns are of the past, like past relationships that have put you in a state of mind where you like see the worst or you're scared that something bad's going to happen or whatever it may be, some energy of old jadedness that could pop up in your energy field. It is up to you to let go of those past red flags and see the potential of a green flag, to see the potential of a yellow flag. If you need to be in a state of a yellow flag and slowly learn about said person or grow with them or get to know them, that's better than just jumping in and like blindly assuming someone is nice or that someone is good or has good intentions. It's best to take relationships slow, whether it's friends, you know, partnerships, business, um, you know, whatever it may be, connections in any any sense, it's best to take it slow and study and get to know someone at a soul level rather than a superficial external level because a lot of times people will put on a show and I mentioned that earlier at the beginning. So it's best to really dig deep and actually get to know someone at their heart level because that'll show you their truth and it'll also show you how you guys will interact and if you state boundaries and you have respect for yourself and for other people and you live from a loving heart-centered space first and upfront then you're going to cultivate i'm being distracted by a bird <laughs> you're going to cultivate an energy that just flies forward fluently fluidly and just feels really natural but bonds are created by time by energy by similar receptive energy where people are equally putting in effort to get to know someone or to you know build that connection so if your energy feels off or where if there's an energy where someone feels like they're separate than you or doing less or whatever it may be speak up have real conversations don't be scared to talk about things and if people shut down or people feel weird and don't want to have conversations then they're not mature enough to be in your energy field anyways okay and you want to be around people that are mature <laughs> that are loving that are caring that are there to support you are there to grow with you and to not make you feel weird in any particular way okay 
Um, let's do one last deck and then we'll be done. <laughs> I just, I love doing tarot. It's hard to stop sometimes. Okay, so that might be something for you. Like, you just may really love your connection that you have and you're like, I just love it. It makes me happy, you know. I love being around it. I love... I love, I love, I love, I love, love. Okay. We have... Wear your party hat, number 15. Yeah. Enjoy your life. Get out there. You know, do something different. Um, go out. You know, be in a fun energy. Be... If you're, you know, typically in like a businessy energy, like go be in a different energy or invite people out or do something out of the norm and just um, allow people to see your fun side. Allow people to see you at more of a raw and authentic self, not someone that is like trying to prove themselves to be a particular way. Allow your barriers to go down just a little bit so that people can see that you're fun and that you're funky and different and allow them to see your stripes, you know? Okay, number 24, defy gravity. Yeah, really tap into that heart center space. That's going to allow you to open up to other people. So if you feel any particular concerns in that area, just know that if you tap into your heart and you, you know, hold your heart and tell yourself you love yourself and that you respect yourself and that you're supporting yourself, you know, tell yourself those kind words. It's going to allow you to speak up for yourself and be real and be you and be different and share with other people the real you okay and then we have number nine remember your crown queen you are a queen you are different you are pure and you're not someone that hides who they are you just shine however you are and you don't like you don't really have to act any other particular way you're just like yes, this is me, and I'm going to be dancing, and I'm going to be fun, and I'm going to play in the water, and I'm going to, you know, stand out, and be beautiful, and be different, and I'm going to just be me, so if you like me, you can be in my energy field if I like you also, and, um, you know, we'll just see what the vibe is here, and this color just is like a meshing of the heart chakra and the throat chakra, meshing together and finding truth vulnerability you know um connection peace groundedness um yeah just feels good 37 37 and then we have number 28 fail abundantly so don't be scared to put yourself out there don't be scared to meet new people don't be scared to have these conversations don't be scared to be more vulnerable with people because ultimately that's going to allow you to move into greater parts of yourself and I think it's really important for you to listen to your intuition and to trust that if you make leaps of faith that that fun exciting energy will be reciprocated in a way where you're going to feel supported and feel like you're not weird right <laughs> like you're not gonna feel like a loner you might do things a lot alone or you might be a little bit different but you will attract your tribe you will find your people and you will eventually find that person or multiple people in your life that just really fit your energy and They'll feel, they will feel similarly to you, and it'll just feel right. <sighs> Let's get one more. Bless your lovely self. At the end of the day, your own self-love is the most important. So always tell yourself that you love yourself. Tell yourself that you can speak up for yourself, that you can be wild and fun and free. And allow yourself to tap into your inner willpower and allow that to guide you into stronger connections, more fun and funky and spicy connections allow yourself to be you don't hold back from yourself okay don't hold back do not hold back and most importantly love who you are love love and um 
Don't be afraid to shine. Don't be afraid to shine. Knight of Swords. Send your arrow for, forward. Follow your own guide. Follow your intuition. Trust that whatever direction you're going in, whatever people you're going towards, whatever person you're going towards, whatever relationship you're going towards is the right relationship for you. And once you decide that, you're just going to fly forward and feel so grounded, so protected, and so safe. So trust. Trust that your heart's got you. Trust that your throat will guide you and trust that your intuition is like, yeah, girl, let's go. All right. So that is everything I have today. Thank you so much for being here. And if you enjoyed this reading, I hope you did. Um, I will see you soon. Please like, subscribe if you're new, comment, whatever you'd like to comment about your self-care routines right now and um, share it if you think someone would enjoy it. And I will see you guys very soon. Once again, I'm Sarah Tess and uh, I do personal readings. So if you want a personal reading for me, information is down below and I will get back to you. You can email me. All right. See ya.